Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Niemer here and welcome to another episode of Limbus Company, an amazing gacha from Project Moon with uh, turn-based combat and uh, groups of sinners that you assemble to do it. You can find the full playlist in the comment description below the video. Right now I'm doing chapter 6, which is the newest chapter released in season 4, I believe. Anyhow, let's jump in. Obsidian Grass, 631, level 42. Well, that's a nice number. Answer to many nice things. And yeah, let's see what's up with Cathy. So she's in this coffin kind of thing and connected to other things. And uh, Heathcliff wants to smash it. And this dude wants to prevent us from doing so. And yeah, anyhow. I do most of the combats here out to complete combat because I have a very strong team. So, But uh, yeah, every now and then we get to a fight where we have to actually... <laughs> Think about what we are doing. I don't think this will be one of those fights, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, and yeah, that's more or less it. We're gonna do the fight, and then we're gonna do some more story, and then we're gonna do some more fights. And uh, at the end of the chapter, there's gonna be a dungeon where I will be able to accumulate resources, and it will all culminate with one big boss fight. I think that's usually how it goes in this kind of game. So yeah, anyhow. Uh, let's see what the situation is. We want to clear this in 10 turns or less because then we get some bonus currency which can be used for wonderful things in this game. Among other things, work towards uh, unlocking uh, more currency to unlock more characters and yeah, that's one of the enjoyments of this kind of games, collecting as many characters and then putting them together in, in interesting themes. Now, this is not a very... Hmm, Synergistic team that I'm using. It's just like a team full of very strong individuals. Oh, look at that. It's Hindley. And he has 869 HP. Um, Alright. In panic, okay. Analyze defeated, gain one slot next turn. Okay, can we actually... Oh, this is a non-focused encounter, so I can't tell who goes where. So I have like very little control of who attacks what. Um, you know what? I'm actually gonna do the telepole here. I'll just have to hope that my setup's good enough. I don't like non-focused encounters in this game. I do enjoy the focused one a lot though, so it's like, eh. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to do that, but it's okay. Okay, this will actually be pretty decent, I think. Now, I'm gonna give it a lot of fragility. Now, it would be great if more people attacked him. Well, there's comes, uh, there comes Dawn with... The, I how I shall electrocute them all ability. So these are egos. That's like the main way you can influence the the fights. Decide which egos to use, where and how, because the resources in these kind of things are super limited. Yeah, and as we defeat its opponents, he's gonna get more and more slots, which yeah, not ideal. But this was this. Do you have any AOE here that we can use? No. How about you? No. Okay. Well, very self-destructive purge going there. I don't want you to use that. So I'm gonna change what's happening here. There we go. I want him to use this the red one, the self-destructive purge on the on the main dude here. This might be a little bit of an overkill also. Yeah, I'm actually thinking about saving this purples for after when these are dead. Not sure if that's a smart idea though. These purples are some of the strongest attacks that I have. And I would very much like them to go into Mr. Hindley here, if possible. So let's take care of the grunts first. And then I'm gonna use everything I have. So that kind of control we do have. Some abilities are stronger than others and we can choose between two abilities each round which we're gonna use and save up the others for after. What's up dude? Have problem hitting stuff? Oh, he doesn't have problem hitting stuff. Okay. Two more left. Okay, if I click this, let's see again, where does this go? Make things right again. Is that his ability? Yes. Okay, so I like that this ability is going into him. What about this? Where is this going? Also into him. Well, that's much better now, isn't it? Also, I'm gonna go and use the fluid sack on Faust. 
There we go. So fluid sack is gonna give everyone a lot of sanity and increase their combat capabilities. Now he's getting some buffs, you could go and check his abilities, what he does, what he's all about, but for a non-focused encounter, I don't find him worthwhile enough to do that. Now that should have been an AoE, why didn't it hit the other dudes? I don't know. There you go, this will do a lot of damage hopefully. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go. Bam! That was 147 damage, that's what we're looking for. That's why I saved it for Hindley here. Hindley, brother of Cathy, a very unpleasant dude, was not nice to hit Cliff at all, so he got what he deserved. Oh, we're out of bullets, but okay. It is what it is. Maybe I could have saved up some bullets, but uh, I can't really think about everything. And nice, this will also do a lot of damage. Even more now that it's staggered. 231. And now the self-destructive purge. And just like that, he's like almost dead. 154 damage. Okay. I'm just gonna click damage here. No ammo, no ammo, no ammo. Well, if he has no ammo, maybe I should use like that. I don't think it's really worth it though. Yeah, no. I will use this though. No, I don't need it. I don't need it. Everything dies now anyway, so what am I doing? Let's go. Like he's staggered. Staggered people take like a lot more damage than usual, so. And well. Hindley's demise. Who takes the cake? Fastos. Okay, fast. And now. Is there anyone else standing between us and this thing? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> what did I tell you, Mr. Hindley? Again and again. We wear the obsidian grass. You, yeah, you. Yeah. Wait, wasn't the dead rabbit's boss supposed to be working for Hindley? So why, why does it look like he's provoking Hindley to fight us? Why is he trying to rile him up? Yeah, there's something odd here, that's for sure. And what is that about the obsidian grass? Haha, <laughs> don't you get it? He's talking about black claw clovers. Like playing cards for poker, the shape and the color. Oh. Playing cards for poker, the shape and the color, obsidian grass. <laughs> hmm. It was all a setup. Probably like these dudes set him up to lose that game, so it all came down to this moment in time. Oh, we are like... So we went into the basement, so all these pots, more pots. And that's the Cathy spot, we're getting closer and closer to it. Who do we have to fight now? Oh, only one. Effective infinities, we don't know, but... The battle! Charge forward! The obsidian grass! <laughs> Damn it, I see now. It was you. It was you all along. No, it was always like this. I was surrounded by those opportunistic backstabbing efforts who only goals were to suck my fortune dry. There never was a place for me. Not even in here, this vast manner of watering heights. Is he gonna distort? Why? Is that bloody vagabond who invaded our home? Why? Why should I be subject to such? Huh? Who's that? Hindley begins flailing his arms at nothing, then speaks into the void. Yes, exactly. You understand. All I wanted... All I wanted was a small fancy violin. That's all it was. But he tossed me to the mud pits in the rain like I was a rabbit dog. Yes, I remember every single word of what my father told me. Of course I do. I can even recite it from the top of my head. He's distorting. Yeah, yeah, I figured as much. So distortion is this game when people get super emotional and then they turn into these powerful bosses to fight. Hindley, I regret that I cannot bring myself to consider a Reaper Braid like you as my own child. That boy Heathcliff is more like my son than you shall ever be. <laughs> yeah. So he went mad with envy and jealousy over Heathcliff and became... Uh, a very tragic thing 
Yeah, even his father wanted to reject him. All those who found themselves at the edge of suffering, as my old fellow Dongrang had, muttered out to themselves, as though they were co conversing with an invisible partner. Then, Mersot, can you stop this? Like you did last time, yeah. Last time he just punched somebody unconscious to stop the distortion. It is impossible. I am attempting to approach him, yet I feel an equal force pushing me in the opposite direction. Unlike the case with the monolith, this is a distortion occurring as it normally should. Faust explains that such distortions occur as thought it had been ordained by fate itself. Once the sequence has started, it cannot be stopped without a strong will from the subject of distortion. Right, so they managed, like, to, they tied up their ends, so it wouldn't be like, hey, you can just smack somebody unconscious and stop the distortion. No, that's not how it works. Then, yes, he will distort. Yes, yes, of course! I have no reason to protect Wuthering Heights anymore. Not a single one! This place that never once welcomed me, this home! Can't you see? Wuthering Heights is rotting away. This sickening, rotting stench that penetrates your nostrils. Ah, can't you feel it? This rot. You. <laughs> this isn't much of a surprise, is it? It has absorbed so much hatred over the years. Even Catherine must have hated me as she expired. So, watering heights, this decaying manner must crumble. It is as it should be. <laughs> well, we fight the distorted Hindley now. Hopefully it's a focused encounter. Oh. Look at that. Hindley, the reefed lamenter. Right. So what is this thing anyway? Is it a rat? Is it a hyena? Is it a gnoll? Something of that sort. Has a tail. Right. Uh, oh. Core in part healed by 10% of the damage dealt by this attack. If this unit speed is faster than targets clash power plus two. Eh. Any passives we should know about? This unit's panic type does not change when inflicted with an effect. Fix panic. I don't even know what that means. A place for me. HP does not drop below 40% for one turn. Gains a new pattern. After the first recovery from stagger and after clash win, deal 10% of damage dealt on hit as rat bonus damage. On kill, heal 200 HP for court and part. Oh, so we have to stop him from killing our people. Eh, shouldn't be too hard now, should it? Favorite, 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 favorite. So we, we'll have favorite, so should be fine, right? Well, if something goes wrong, we can just restart. Now, this is like... This is like a mini... Let's call it a mini... Um, boss fight. And the reason why I say that is because we have to finish it in 10 turns, so I'm not expecting, like, huge problems here. Like, it just wouldn't be very doable otherwise, but who knows, we'll see, we'll see. So yeah, the first turn went relatively well. Interesting how he guarded after he lost the clash, what that was all about. Damn! Okay, so now he has negative, he's not even an abnormality, yeah, he has negative sanity, that will make it even easier, low morale, hatred, clash win, gain one offense level up next turn, clash lose, gain one defense level up, okay, that's fine, I don't mind too much about his defense, you can see how our abilities are now dominating, there is one problem though. He's now much faster. And what is this ability? This is my home. Prioritize target with the least HP on use. If target has less than 70% HP, clash power plus two. This does a lot of damage. I really want to win against this thing. Others are kind of okay. On hit, gain one offense level up. On hit, gain one offense level up. I don't think one offense level up is too much. He would gain haste next turn. Yeah, these get out of hand, and this one I really want to win against. So he rolls 4 to 16. Good thing is that he has very low sanity, so...
This one's dominating though. 4 to 16. We both rolled 4 to 16. But I have 14 sanity and he has minus 24. So it's very unlikely to lose that. Hmm. I actually don't have body Zack equipped, which is kind of really bad. <laughs> ah, mistakes. What is that gives me haste so he can use this ability in the first turn? No, I wouldn't be able to use it anyway. I just have to wait for him to roll ma more. So he has all the force. Interesting. Like, is anything attacking like Heathcliff here? No. Oh, yes. No. So basically, he cannot. He cannot clash. Okay. Anything attacking? Okay, this one's going for you. So I can do that. Okay. Anyone attacking Sinclair? He is actually with this one. Is this favored or guaranteed? This should be guaranteed actually. There. And then from the other people who are actually fast and can intercept this thing, I have to decide who does it. I want to use a one coin ability, that's for sure. And this one's favorite. I think it will be Rodia. And then... There. And there. That looks good enough. Okay, this is unopposed now. Why is this unopposed? I messed something up. Oh, you go there. Okay. And you can go there. Yeah, I, I targeted the wrong thing. I should have targeted that. Okay. Dominating, dominating, favorite, dominating, favorite. Okay. Good. So favorite means we are likely to win. Dominating means, means we are very likely to win. The clash. Uh, it's usually correct, except for negative uh, coin uh, IDs. Where things get a little bit weird. Okay, nice job, Frost. The respiration to us all. It's minus 40. Let's see if it does anything when it gets to minus 45. Okay, this should hopefully do a lot of damage. Now, we are negative coin. So the more coins we lose in clashes, like the bigger... Panic, hatred. Panic, clash win, gain one offense, level up. Clash lose, gain one defense. Turn end, gain two haste next turn. All right. Well, doesn't seem like anything super smart is happening now. What is this? I'll get ya. Priorities as Hitler. Okay. If the target is enemy with the slowest speed, base power plus three. Well, it's not. On news, inflict mark prey. Okay, what's marked prey? With every hit this unit takes, take bonus slash damage equal to 10% of the HP taken. Expires next turn. If this unit does not take damage during this turn, inflict one inferiority complex after attack, then expires. Okay. Seems like they like put a lot of thought into this fight, but things are not really going well for our friend here like everyone's dominating now i could wait with this ability until we stagger it although he is probably like what do we have you have just body here okay if there is a good chance we will stagger it i think this might not be the best turn to do this Okay. All right. Yeah, maybe, maybe I want to hold back a little bit here to do a much stronger attack next time. Let's do that. Uh. 
Yeah, but then he might not go first, right? Yeah. Okay. Since he goes first now, let's let's use this ability to do maximum damage. Okay. Now this ability will give it fragility, which means everyone else after him does more damage. That's the whole point. But he gets target now anyway, so. I guess the only downside is that our attacks right now is, are not super powerful. But this one is gonna be though. Yeah, so just for this one it was worth it. 383 damage, that's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Yeah, because I don't know if he's gonna roll like high speed again. Oh, something's happening. Where is Hitliff? I haven't a clue. Most likely dozing off in some corner like the lazy bum he is. Oi, Hitliff! Where the hell are you? Lady Catherine has finally returned. The way she's so short. She surely isn't much younger than he, right? We saw some pictures from the past where they were about the same age, no? Chop chop, come on! Out and beat her welcome like the other servants have. Hindley, Hindley, you are a nasty person, nasty individual. You deserve everything happening to you. Like poor Heathcliff. Like he had a harsh time on the streets and then he got invited into this family and this Hindley was not a very nice person to him. Not a nice person at all. Huh? Heathcliff, what are you talking for? Have you forgotten me? <laughs> Look at how he looks. Oh, dude. <laughs> So, yeah, he looks pretty young. Why is Hindley so big? I don't know. How insolent, Heathcliff. I don't recall ever permitting you to act so disrespectfully before my dear sister. Why are you laughing at me? Huh? Why? Why would you say a thing like that? I never laughed at you. I simply wanted to know why you don't appear very happy to see me. It's been long since we've last met. And my... You're so dirty. Ha! Dirty! You're right, that's just the way I was born. I like to be dirty, and I'll be as dirty as I want to be. What are you? Heathcliff! The day when Heathcliff denied me for the first time. I've never seen a prouder, so this is Cathy speaking. I've never seen a prouder smile on my brother than when he watched it happen. I wonder if Heathcliff, who stormed off to the barn, was weeping. Catherine, you shrew. You dare conspire with your husband to take my home away from me? Okay, so we jump into the future where he lost his card game and lost his house and then Catherine bought it. The only thing my father ever, ever gave me. I did not want the pain from you to hold you back from living your life, dear brother. The same pain you wielded like a cudgel to trash Heathcliff to hurt me. I will try all I can so that you may recover. But if you would rather choose to abandon every opportunity that was ever given to you, if you would rather walk yourself into that abyss, well then, let's walk him into the abyss. So he's staggered now, so that means he's taking double damage from everything. Some build is stronger than others. You can probably, so you can see here, like Heathcliff rolled slower speed than um, than Sinclair. So even if I've saved my purple ability, which gave it four vulnerability, fragility, I wouldn't be able to use the red ability here while he was fragile because Sinclair is faster now. So yeah, it's still gonna do a lot of damage as you can see here, 66 to 246. If you click this damage button here, the game will choose the best abilities. So pretty nice and straightforward. I might I might want to use this to heal SP to allies. So they have better clashing power next turn because once he recovers from stagger, although he should just go into another stagger, no? If we manage to go through the threshold, so. Uh, I'll listen to my instincts and do that, although. There is another thing I could do. Yeah, this thing inflicts one fragile next turn. I could do that instead. I cannot do both, though. Let's do that. Although this will probably hurt so much. Oh, wait. 
We got bamboozled. He's not taking any damage. The the plot armor. <laughs> I saw something about it. I don't see like anything down on the like there's nothing on his bar suggesting he's immune. Uh. So, I wasted my red ability on Sinclair. Now he's up and running. Yeah, I don't know why that was. Uh, HP does not drop below f a place for me. Ah, that's what... That's what's triggered. HP does not drop below 40% for one turn, gains a new pattern. Okay, so yeah, that's what, what happened. All right. Um, okay, he's doing this is my home again. This is my place. Twice, does a lot of damage. My people are full, so the things should not trigger. If I just click this button here, dominating favorite, favorite, favorite. So it looks pretty decent. Um, I don't have enough charge, I don't think so. Yeah, to use this ability, so I shouldn't use it. Let me see something. Like, can you like do something good with this? Maybe kind of can, so let's do that. I mean, he is fragile right now. Yeah, if, if the target has less than 70% HP clash pl power plus two. So that would be this one, yeah. So, so I want to do something like this. Neutral, ooh, 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 favorite. Okay. How much does this roll for? Four to sixteen. I mean, I roll twelve at minimum. So, as long as I can destroy one of its coins, I should not be able to lose anymore. So let's do that. Then you have to choose somebody for this one here. Neutral. Struggling. Yeah, that's a strong one. I can do this thing. Dominating. Uh. It is a bit scary though. I can easily win it as long as I keep flipping heads. But if I don't flip the head, it might be nasty. So maybe that's not the way to go. Like, why does this ability have such a low chance of winning? 3 to 15. But I have, like, decent sanity, so I'm very likely to roll the coins. Is this really a neutral? What kind of attack is this? A blunt? How strong are you against blunt? You're pretty good against blunt. Okay. Yeah, I, I kind of... Oh, I see. His baseline is 7. That's the problem. My baseline is really low. So, to defeat his baseline... I need like to roll two coins at least, which is a lot. Okay. Okay. Let's have this thing to corrode seventy five percent. That's a little bit scary. It is dominating though. Um, so this cannot lose the clash because it has a base of nine. Well, it can, but as long as the enemy loses at least one coin, we'll be fine. Problem is, 75% chance to corrode. That's pretty bad. I probably don't want to risk it. I want the corrosion. I think. <laughs> I think I'll just go with this one. Did I just overclock it? I didn't want to overclock it. 
Maybe I didn't. Okay. Just go there. And then let's see. Favorite, 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 dominating. Okay, he can heal quite a bit. Which I'm not a huge fan of. Okay, hopefully this turn goes well and we can stagger it soon. I so regret wasting my red ability for forgetting that we cannot get him to under 40% in one turn. That was a pretty big mistake actually. But I think we can do a nice trick here. So even if we don't stagger him now, I can just tell everyone to attack the first location if you're faster and stagger him before he does his moves. That would be a good way to do the next turn, but I think he is staggered. Is he gonna become invulnerable yet again? Hopefully not. Interesting. He's not staggered yet, is he? Why is he like rolling coins? He's not staggered, okay. So I'm gonna do something a little bit risky here, but I think it's gonna pay off. So instead of trying to clash with these two very powerful attacks and risk... Hmm, his sanity is really low though, so I should have very good chances, yeah. Hmm. What do I do? Okay, let's just do the simple thing. And clash then. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, I wanted to gang up on his first slot, but just in case something goes wrong, I decided to play it safe here. I mean, we did reach the... the Threshold, no. Yeah, now we did. Okay, now he's staggered, so he's gonna be staggered for this round and the next one, and this should be it, I think. Yeah, this will do a lot of damage. There we go, 202. That's half each HP gone, and now Sinclair is gonna put the nail in the coffin. Alright. Um. Whatever. Should be enough. Okay, Hindley. Bye bye. Plot armor can protect you now. Good, good. So this wasn't hard. And I even did some mistakes. I know this for certain. That Catherine died because you dared to set foot in our manor. Interloper. You. You are but a rash devil. <coughs> That never should have come to our home. Well, your father likes me more than he likes you. You might be the one warning, warming yourself by the fireplace now, but I'm the one your father truly cares about. Me, a poor child from the filthy back streets. Oh, poor Heathcliff. He should never have said such a thing. Yeah, he made himself an enemy by doing that. You, you effing mutt. Come on, hit me if you wanna, I can take it. What do you think your father will have to say when he sees the wound you inflicted on me? Oh, this is so bad, like being passive aggressive like that, I hate when people do that. Hitliff, you, you are with, you're not without sins, dude. And in the end, you know what, even like, even if father shows affection to you, like, that's probably overcompensating because he took you from the streets. Like, usually this kind of rich folks, they will choose their kid in the end, so... That was a bad call, I think. His words would turn into thorny roots and bury themselves in my brother's heart as long as he lived. No matter how many times he trashed Hitler to exhaustion, no matter how time passed after our father's death, they remained. Yes, that is when Hindley began to believe that Heathcliff was here to take everything he ever had. Give it back! Give it back! My home, my violin, my future! Ah! Yep. Nasty stuff. Broken family. Oh, did she open her eyes on that picture? I'm just imagining things. Matt. Okay, so the Matt is the leader of the quote unquote dead rabbits that Hidley contracted to um, do the filthy work for uh, for him. But Matt might not be what uh, what uh, 
he really is and yeah supposedly Heathcliff and Matt know each other but I think we're gonna find out that Matt is something entirely else maybe I'm having a little bit of trouble following the story but anyhow we are very close to the catty now and uh, yeah next episode is gonna be interesting uh, make sure to watch it like and subscribe if you enjoyed this one have a wonderful day and do some nice things be kind to each other and let's make the world a better place together thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next episode of Limbus Company the Niamh signing out bye bye